So this other exciting arm of the EPCOR-02 trial uh, that we're giving some more updates here at ASH 2023 uh, is the ARM-8, so a combination of ARM mini-chop uh, with epcaritimab. So the focus here is for uh, older or very comorbid patients. We are very lucky in the front line of DLBCL for many patients to probably cure about 60% with our chop except we have a lot of patients who cannot tolerate our chop They are older than 75 years old or even older than 65, but a lot of comorbid comorbidities, uh, cardiac, uh, other organ comorbidities uh, that wouldn't allow them to safely tolerate that therapy. So that's a real unmet need. Median age of DLBCL diagnosis um, in the mid 60s. So therefore, a lot of these patients are in their 70s and even 80s uh, when they get diagnosed and we can't give them regular R-CHOP. Our mini chop uh, is a reasonable alternative, uh, but overall the efficacy does seem to be a bit less uh, than the standard of care R-CHOP. So the addressing of that unmet need is maybe straightforward here, adding our mini chop uh, to epcaritimab um, for these patients. Uh, the trial allowed patients older than 75 or older than 65 with comorbidities, but overall it was the median age of 81 in this cohort. So these are experienced patients um, that would probably not tolerate standard therapies. And uh, this is a small study so far, just 20 patients that we followed. And of the evaluable patients, the response rate was 100% and the complete remission rate uh, was 85%. So. Uh, historically, that compares very favorably with our mini chop. Uh, not a randomized study, of course, but very promising. And the tolerability was quite good. Um, most of the side effects were what we'd expect from our mini chop. And then again, we had a small number of patients with grade three uh, or above CRS. Most of those pretty quickly resolving. Uh, and you know, other common side effects from the epcaritimab were just the injection site reactions, which were pretty mild. So for these patients, I could easily imagine this becoming a standard of care. Our mini chop is good, but not good enough. And the epcaritimab addition to it was pretty well tolerated. So this is a small study and early results. I think this would pave the way for a future larger study and for this to become a standard of care in the future for frontline therapy for older patients with DLBCL.